this is a story Happy to be here. near and dear to you. This is the dreams of a teenage girl who died six years mm. ago are becoming a reality thanks to her family. So this is something you've been working on. Yeah, and I, Steve, you probably remember when you, this was happening, I you do, guys yes. covered it. It was a national story, a very big story. So they lost their daughter to leukemia, and after waging a high profitable battle with an insurance company, high profile rather, uh, the local family continues to fight for changes in our healthcare system, and they're also doing something where they can keep their daughter's memory alive. <laughs> This December, it'll be six years since Natalene Sarkeesian's death. She left me with so much energy, so much happiness. It isn't easy. You feel like it's the end of the world. It's a struggle. You know what we were gonna give her for her 17th birthday? A brand new white car. But what did we end up giving her? A white coffin. But the Sarkeesians promised themselves they wouldn't let Natalene's death be in vain. I always say my cause is your cause, is because whatever happened to our family, it could happen to everyone. When Nathalie was 14, she was diagnosed with leukemia. After rounds of chemotherapy and bone marrow transplant from her brother, the doctors insisted Natalie's only hope to live was a liver transplant. But that's when the family says Cigna, the insurance purchased through her father's work, first delayed, then denied the surgery twice, calling it too experimental. If they had given her that liver, not that it had a chance, 65% chance to live. The doctors gave her 65% chance to live. The insurance company gave her zero. The Sarkeesians so fought lives, hard. They wouldn't down. take no for an answer, and they certainly weren't ready to say goodbye. Their fight gained national attention. The California Nurses Association even took up the cause, and supporters staged a number of rallies. With all of the negative attention and pressure, the insurance company reversed its decision. Cigna just approved us. <laughs> but unfortunately, it was just too late. Nataline died that very same day. She was 17. She is my angel. She is guiding me. For the past several years, the Sarkeesians spend the year working towards a big event. For one special night, dedicated in their daughter's honor, Natalene's fashion legacy. Her dream was to go to fashion school. When she passed away, we found 22 sketches in her room, and they were signed. And we decided around her birthday, which is July 10, um, let's do something as a family. And so every year, celebrity designer Paula Tu brings one of Natalene's sketches to life. The last dress in the show is Natalene's creation. Saturday will be the sixth annual fashion show. The whole event is bittersweet for me as a mom, but it's very, there's a lot of energy, a lot of um, excitement, and it's just an incredible event. All right, so you can get more information on Natalie's fashion legacy. Also, for tickets, go to natalienesarkeesian.com. I will be there, by the way, this Saturday. Uh, I'll be a part of the event, and this is a nonprofit, and they're giving out scholarships for culinary, fashion, and medical students. That's great. Cooking, because she loved to cook. Obviously, fashion, because she mm -hmm. loved fashion. It was her dream. And then for the medical field, they dealt so much with doctors and nurses, yeah. and they want to give something back. I know. But Are they still angry? Angry. Yeah, angry about the whole system. Are they angry? Yeah. Yeah, they are. And, you know, in addition, I was going to say, in addition to doing what they're doing, which is a positive thing with this fashion show, mm -hmm. as well as other community events that they do throughout the year, they really want to make a change, and they want to change ERISA law. And this is something that they tried to take um, the insurance company to court, but they couldn't. Their case was thrown out because of ERISA, ERISA yes. law, mm -hmm. where um, if you get your insurance through uh, your employer, you cannot sue them. So that's something they're really passionate they about, and they want to change.